I am very happy for Christopher Clack and the National Academy of Sciences that Jacobson has dropped this lawsuit against them. But Jacobson dropping this case doesn't come with a silver lining. This senseless lawsuit has costed Clack and his co-authors and PNAS a lot of money, probably in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, and also cut into their precious time which could have been spent dealing with scientific matters. But also, Jacobson again shows his true nature in a statement he published on a Stanford website. First, the only reason he stops is because he doesn't want a protracted war in the courtroom and he is now trying to save face. He says so himself in the statement. Second, he doesn't acknowledge the validity of Clack at all, at all. In fact, he maintains that Clack and his co-authors have lied and he doubles down by presenting a meta-analysis of 30 peer-reviewed articles that, to some degree, confirm his 100% renewable thesis. A lot of ipsa dixit here, which means, I said so, where most of the papers reference his own. Every time we will say that 2015 Clack et al. stands opposite to 2015 Jacobson et al., they will wave these publications in our face, as if dispelling this bullshit isn't hard enough. The most essential thing to note, he claimed that it wasn't about the science, yet he offered amendments to his paper and dropped the case. That's incongruent with his actions, i.e. he probably assessed that the judge was going to rule in favor of Clack and Penis. Jacobson is doubling down. Also, when we consider his actions after the withdrawal, we see no real change in his demeanor. Ken Caldera, for instance, asked him a genuine question, and again, Jacobson deflects and acts as if he has done no wrong, and that Clack and his co-authors and Pines have brought this on themselves. This is exactly the kind of response I would expect from this self-righteous, thin-skinned individual. He couldn't get the court to see things his way, so he reverts to his old MO of being as insufferable as only people like him and Donald Trump can be. This one made me giggle though. I have never been in California, so I don't know how I could have ever stalked him. Trying to understand and debunk his theses isn't the same as talking. It's called academic curiosity. Given the fact that he is so defensive and popular in the meanwhile, is reason to scrutinize his work very carefully. People also question why Stanford University hasn't acted so far. The actions of Jacobson are truly unbecoming of a Stanford University professor. Rigorous academic discourse should never end in court. Suffice to say, I am not done yet, and neither are some experts in the field that I know. We've not heard the last of this. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.